I, I know I, I passed the ruck march, but I didn't fully, like, I was only, like, four minutes uh, ahead of time. And that, that, to me, was, it was a very tough ruck march, uh, but it really showed me how out of shape I was from <laughs> being on two months of leave and with the baby and stuff like that. So not going to happen again, I can tell you that much. It wasn't where I wanted it to be. In the past, I've been able to do like two hours and 20 minutes, two hour, 30 minutes. So I want to try to get back to where I was. I would say uh, the first half uh, out to the, the six mile mark wasn't too bad. Um, the, I mean, there was a lot of wind, a lot of hills, but that's normal here in Kansas. Um, I would say probably about like the eight mile ish mark. So that last like four mile leg portion of it. Um, yeah, I was starting to feel it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I saw Todd passed me, um, a couple other people passed me that were behind me, uh, and so then I, I felt like I was starting to slow down, but I felt like I was still keeping the same pace, so I, I kind of felt in my in my brain a little bit, I felt like I was close to failing, if not already failed, like at mile 10. Um, didn't give up though, of course, uh, I saw Allen was with me, he was one of the Dentac soldiers. Um, him and I, we kept like leapfrogging each other. Like all the way uh, to the end and then of course we realized like oh hey we got it we're good so we were kind of in high spirits after that so oh got to get back in shape um, I'm definitely out of shape uh, my two mile time is not where it used to be my ruck march not where it used to be um, but I can definitely get back into shape yeah the swing uh, swing jump stop I believe it's called uh, apparently that one is super super high uh, compared to the average across the army. Um, I know a lot of people failed that one. And then the weaver. Need to practice a little bit more on the weaver. Um, at the end of the day, I'm not a climber. Um, I think some of my issue is I do risky movements on the weaver. So like if I screw up and if I like my foot slips, then I'm gonna swing down and I'm gonna hit the ground and now all of a sudden I'm disqualified. So I need to m maybe work on the technique and the the safer movements if that kind of makes sense so just take some practice and some technique stuff like that um coming from a line unit we would do this quite often coming now to a hospital don't do this as often i should say uh but yeah it's, it's always fun i love it it's a lot of fun Need to do better on weapons. As a as a medic, I don't really take them apart and put them back together. I just shoot them. Um, so I need to need to get better at weapons for sure. Taking them apart, putting them back together, functions check, all stuff like that. But that's easy. That's just repetitions. Uh, just being able to get hands on weapons, stuff like that. <sighs> Doesn't really prove anything to me. I guess it it proves to others that. Hey, I, I'm here. I'm specialist Burdick. I'm the best. And at the end of the day, I might be a little, little cocky, a little, maybe a little bit too confident, you might say. But I, I know deep down, I'm the best. And I'm gonna do absolutely everything to be the best. It's fun, honestly. It's because we are all the three of us. We are very competitive, and this whole training during the actual competition here at at Fort Riley during the train up before, during the train up now, we are absolutely pushing each other. We're teaching each other stuff. I know Atkins has been helping me out with some combative stuff. I've been helping them out with like the TC3 lane, stuff like that. So it's it's fun, it's competition, it's, it's great. <laughs>